What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at Walmart's brand new on Android TV box right here. Uh, this is a slight upgrade from the 2021 model. I've done a few videos on that older model. It's a great, cheap, little streaming device. And I was able to play retro games on that one as well. And I was also able to get Xbox Game Pass game streaming set up on it. And it was a great value for only 20 bucks. Now, the new model looks basically identical to the 2021 model. Unfortunately, there's still no USB port on it. Uh, but with the older model, I was able to use uh, an adapter to plug in a USB drive to set up my ROMs. And I'm hoping that will work as well on the new one. Comes with a 3-foot HDMI cable as well, which I thought was nice. And of course, you're going to get your remote and your power brick. Uh, another thing to note, in the old version of the box, you had Android TV. Now in this new model, uh, there's Google TV. So after it's booted up, the interface will look like this. So if you want to use this for your Netflix, your Hulu, YouTube, this should be good to go. It's going to recommend shows and movies it thinks you'd be interested in as well. Uh, navigation is also pretty snappy, which I liked. I've had some pretty poor experience with the Fire TV stick and the menu interface. So I really like this, this one, the fact that it's uh, pretty quick. So what I liked about the older model is that it could double as a little retro gaming device and you could play a bunch of older systems on it up to PS1. So I thought that was pretty cool. And as you could see here, I plugged in this micro to USB adapter. Uh, they, uh, this should allow me to play my ROMs from a USB drive and it will allow power through. Uh, you can get a pack of two for eight bucks on Amazon. And this is the exact one I used on the older on TV box. For retro gaming on a device like this, I like to use Lemuroid. It's much easier to set up than retro arch. All you have to do is scan the folder where your ROMs are located and start playing your games right away. So I downloaded Lemuroid from the Play Store and I tried to choose my directory and what I got was an error message saying you don't have an app that can do this. I also downloaded an older version of Lemuroid and got the same message. So I did a little googling and it turns out this is some sort of restriction from Google TV. Apparently you can't navigate to file folders anymore, which means Google is preventing the use of many emulators. So obviously this is a bit of a bummer. So with Lemuroid not working, I went and tried RetroArch on this. First, I tried an older 32-bit version and then I tried the Google Play Store version. After starting it up, I tried to navigate the menu and got this message saying, on remote keyboard, not configured using fallback. So basically, I couldn't use the remote to navigate around the menu. And I also tried an Xbox controller to navigate it and no luck. So I am now 0 for 2 with retro gaming on this. So I figured I would try Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming. With the older version of the on box, I was able to get this working by using the Odin browser. But guess what? When I tried to open the browser, it kept crashing. I can't say I'm surprised at this point. So I sideloaded the Xbox Game Pass APK, and I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. All right, so I did get Forza Horizon 5 to start up, but after a short time, it did freeze on me. 
Uh, it just can't keep up, and I think the connection just it just can't keep the connection. So I do have a good router in my home. Not sure if I hooked up, um, you know, a micro USB hub with an Ethernet port on it, plugged in with you know wired internet, if that would help at all. And I'm just going to show you guys where it froze on me right about here. Yeah, see right there, it just freezes. So if you pick up one of these new on TV devices, uh, if you're interested in streaming from your favorite apps like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, um, you'll be fine. But if you want to do some retro gaming or cloud gaming like me, uh, this is going to be a pass. I was actually pretty disappointed in this that, you know, Google TV is pretty much locking it down as far as retro gaming and I couldn't get really cloud gaming to work very well. Uh, if you had got this device, please uh, leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, if you like this video, please give it the old thumbs up and subscribe. I would appreciate it and thanks so much for watching.